The irony of all this competition and animosity between Washington and Beijing is that China is the number one investor in the United States. Last year alone, Beijing plowed $13 billion into the country. Tom Ackerman tells us more now. In New York Harbor, France's gift to the U.S., the Statue of Liberty, has been greeting new arrivals for more than a century. And soon, this giant observation wheel on the city's Staten Island will join that skyline, thanks in large part to 300 investors from China. It's part of a wave of development projects financed by Chinese money. In New York City, an estimated $3 billion last year alone. Chinese companies have recently acquired two city landmarks, the General Motors building and the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Chinese financed residential housing is also under construction, like Skyview Park, attracting buyers from China itself. I can have relatives here that live in New York but know somebody in China and through word of mouth, they know that projects like Skyview Park exist. The Chinese have also been stepping deeper into the American tech market. Lenovo acquiring Motorola's handset business after buying IBM's computer server division. And Chinese money is beginning to bet on new tech startups. But Chinese aren't only looking at U.S. investments for the financial return. Last year, Chinese citizens accounted for 85 percent of people who obtained a special class of permanent residence visas here. They're granted to foreigners who invest at least half a million dollars in businesses that hire 10 or more Americans. For a smaller restaurant, you know, they typically just need half a million U.S. dollars or one million U.S. dollars. Restaurant business are typical labor intensive business. As China's own property market cools down and the Beijing government shows less tolerance for corruption, more investors see those visas opening the door to eventual U.S. citizenship for their families. Many of them want to come to the United States because they're feeling insecure in their own country. Um, many of them simply want another passport as opposed to actually coming here and living here. At an investment summit in Washington this week, the Chinese guests made clear that just selling their products to American consumers isn't enough. Their country holds the world's largest reserve in foreign exchange, most of it in U.S. dollars. Plentiful means to plant their own stakes in an expanding U.S. economy for years to come. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.